hey there, a little bird told me you want to start a podcast, but you don't know how to put this idea in motion. Well, in this video, together, we're going to create your own roadmap to launching a podcast people will talk about for years to come. I'm going to share my best tips for planning, creating, distributing, and promoting a podcast. Oh, and by the way, that little bird also told me you are ready. Hey amigo, I'm Veronica and I'm an online marketing and podcast coach. I have helped hundreds of people to launch and maintain successful podcasts and I wanna do the same for you. RSS.com makes podcast storage, distribution and monetization super easy for podcast newbies like you. And here on this channel, you can find more videos about podcasting and interviews with other experienced and successful podcasters who have paved the way for you. So take a moment and click on the subscribe button. By the end of this video, you will have everything you need to create a fun and magnetic podcast. So put your learning cap on and get ready to take some notes with me. I know podcasting is so exciting that you just want to grab that microphone and record what you had on your chest or ideas that you had in your brain for years and shout it out to the world. I get it. But slow down, Speedy Gonzalez. Because the key to having a podcast that performs well is to spend some time in the planning stage. This is where you develop your podcast idea, choose your audience, and design your podcast on paper. And that's what we're gonna do in step one. Step one, pick an audience, name, and topic. Okay, grab that pen and paper and start imagining your future audience. Here's some example questions that you may want to answer. Who am I making this show for? Am I making this show for Gen Xers, Millennials, Gen Zs? Am I making my show for women over 40 going through infertility? Am I making this podcast for parents with teenagers? Am I making this podcast for first time home buyers? What does this group of people struggle with? What are their greatest desires? And I understand that being this specific may make you feel unsettled because you want to make your show for everybody. But listen, when you're speaking to everyone, you end up speaking to no one. The more specific you are in your message about who you're making your show for, the faster you will attract listeners. Your podcast will feel like it was made specifically for them, their needs, and their particular life circumstances. And that's the secret combination for an irresistible podcast. Now let's talk about your podcast name or title. Choosing a name for your podcast is going to require some thinking and researching, but here's a quick checklist so you don't make any mistakes. First, make sure your name is easy to spell and easy to say. Avoid jargon or inside jokes only you would understand. Unless you're a celebrity, avoid using your own name in the title. For example, if I name my podcast Conversations with Veronica or Veronica Talks, or Veronica's podcast, my podcast will not get the attention of podcast listeners browsing for new shows because they don't know who I am and have no clue about what my podcast is about. Descriptive names like how to start a business, online marketing simplified, how to parent teenagers, or dating in the online era can help you catch the attention of new listeners. And the last two items to scratch off, do a check to make sure your name is not already being used. Bonus points if your name hints at what your show will be about. Now, don't put your pen down yet. You have more details to brainstorm your podcast topic. Let's quickly create a list of topics that you can use to help develop your show and a handful of episode ideas. If you have no idea, turn to social media and run a search using your main topic to see what videos and posts are being made with that specific topic. This will give you ideas about what to talk about and you'll also be able to see what resonates with your audience the most. Okay, great work. Let's now slow down and reveal step number two. Build your podcast brand and create promotional assets. Your podcast is a digital product your audience will have access to and consume. As such, it should have proper packaging, a marketing strategy, and promotional materials. Having this in place before releasing episodes will allow you to start promoting your podcast on social media, other podcasts, online communities, and newsletters. You don't want to wait until the day you launch your podcast to start promoting it. No. You start creating a buzz, being loud and making noise weeks before your grand debut. So this is what you'll need. 
podcast cover art, elevator pitch, and promotional videos and graphics for social media. My favorite tool to create all this is Canva Pro. It's like we're all confused and Canva Pro descended from the heavens to help those with no graphic design skills and tastes like me. <laughs> In Canva Pro, you can easily design your podcast cover art and all of your promotional materials you're gonna need for your social media. But if you need some extra help, you can go to places like Fiverr or Upwork to find a graphic designer to help you with this task. You'll also need a little bit of writing to give people context about your podcast. This is called a podcast elevator pitch. A podcast elevator pitch is another important element of your podcast brand. It's a short paragraph describing what your podcast is about, who it is for, and who the host is. This piece of writing will go on your podcast hosting site and in email communications when it's time to pitch your podcast to be featured, to schedule guests, or to get sponsorship. Okay, let's reveal step three. Write a podcast trailer in four episodes. Writing podcast trailers is my jam. Writing scripts and outlines for your trailer and episodes is a different kind of writing, and I'll give you some tips on how to write in a minute. But first... Let's talk about why podcast trailers are important and what you should include in your podcast trailer. Like a movie trailer, a podcast trailer gives the listener a taste of your show, creates anticipation, sparks interest, and gets people to talk about the upcoming release. It baffles me when I see people launching their podcast without using a trailer as a part of their promotional strategy. If mega film production companies well known worldwide like Disney and Universal use trailers for their upcoming releases, why wouldn't you do the same for your brand new show? Go all in with your project. You are a star and this is your moment to shine. All right, Veronica, you got me convinced. What should I include in my trailer? Good question. In your trailer, you will include why you created the podcast, who the podcast is for, the podcast format, who is the host of the podcast, how often the episodes will be released, and the launch date. Oh, and I almost forgot. Having a trailer is important because you can use it to submit your podcast to the podcast directories before your launch date. You can also use your podcast trailer to promote your podcast and create anticipation. A tip for when you're creating your trailer is to write it out word for word. Remember, your trailer is supposed to be short and to the point. The less you ramble, the better. And while you're in writing mode, you can create outlines or scripts for your first four episodes. It's always a good idea to launch with a couple of episodes and to have a couple of episodes in your queue so you are ahead of your production schedule. All right, we passed the halfway mark. Let's reveal step number four, record podcast trailer and episodes. For this step, you need two things equipment to record your podcast, and recording software on your computer so you can record your voice. Let's talk about equipment first. There are many options for podcast equipment, but I can assure you, you can find the right equipment for your budget and your preferences. If you're new, I would recommend starting with a simple setup using a USB microphone so you can plug it directly into your computer and start recording. I recommend the Samsung Q2U and the Shure MV7. These two are great options. You'll also need a pair of studio headphones to hear the details and what your voice sounds like while it's being recorded. When it comes to recording and editing your podcast, this is where many people become overwhelmed. Don't worry, you just have to choose an audio editing app or computer program to start practicing. My recommendations for the best audio recording apps are Reaper.fm, Hindenburg, and the script. Since this is the first time you'll be recording a podcast, it's a good idea to give yourself plenty of time to relax and go through the process. Podcasting is like anything else in life. The more you record, the easier it gets and the more your performance will improve. And let's reveal step number five, editing your trailer and episodes. After you're done recording, it's time to edit your raw recordings to add to the listener's experience and to make the episode broadcast ready. In the editing stage, you can remove filler words to make you sound more articulate. You can remove unnecessary banter and irrelevant information that you don't need. You can also add music and sound effects to your podcast to enhance the experience. Audio production can be tricky, especially if you are unfamiliar with it. But don't let this deter you from starting your podcast. 
Promise me that. Let's go over some options together. You can choose to edit your own podcast, and in that case, you'll have to learn podcast editing. The other option is to hire a podcast editor. With a podcast editor, the only thing that you have to worry about is getting high quality recordings that your editor can transform into an immersive audio experience. Okay. Let's reveal step number six, hosting and distribution with RSS.com. After you have created all of the assets that you need for your podcast, it's time to upload them to RSS.com. The first step is to enter your email address and set your password to create an account with RSS.com. You can get started with this step for free with no credit card information needed. Once you have chosen a password, click get started for free. You'll get an email to validate your account with RSS.com with a six digit code. And the next step is to click new podcast. This will take you to a new page where you'll enter your podcast title and description and upload your podcast cover art. You'll also be prompted to add additional information about the podcast. And finally, you can upload the audio files of your trailer and episodes. You can decide to publish the trailer and episodes right away, or you can schedule them to be published at a later time. Also with RSS.com, it's super easy to set up automatic distribution to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all of the other podcast players. So in minutes, your podcast will be live and ready to be shared with the world. Okay, we made it to the last step. Let's reveal step number seven, marketing and promotion. You don't need an elaborate marketing plan or to study marketing books or hire a marketing team. The only thing you need to do is to share your passion and enthusiasm about your new podcast every day in any shape or form. You can make short videos for social media, talk about your podcast on IG stories, send emails to your newsletter subscribers, contact publications and ask them to get featured, be a guest on other people's shows, send call emails and messages to reach out to the local news stations, whatever Whatever comes to your mind, just do it. You don't have to do all these things all at once. Pick the strategy you feel most comfortable with. If you're an introvert like me, maybe sending emails or direct messages on social media is your best form of communication. If you like chatting with people, then being on other podcasts can be a great idea for you. The key is to share your podcast with at least one person every day until it becomes a habit. Promoting your podcast never stops. You will promote your podcast when you're planning it, when you're producing it, when you launch it, and every time you release a new episode. This is how you create a magnetic podcast that will continually draw new listeners in and keep them coming back for more. And that's it, amigo. What ideas do you have for your show? Let me know in the comments below. RSS.com is here to help you every step of the way.